Hello, Jerry Flynn here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the MicroStation Connect Edition to create an animation that would be practically impossible to do in, in previous version of MicroStation. So, and the reason that being I'm going to be able to use constraints in the Connect Edition, this was not available in V8i. So I'm going to constrain my crankshaft to the crankcase bearing by selecting those two surfaces and use a concentric constraint. So now I've constrained the crank so that it remains concentric with the crankcase bearing. And I'm going to do the same for the connecting rod. So I'm going to select my connecting rod. I'll select this inside surface here that would ride on my crank and then I'll select the crank and select the surface on the crank and those things will remain concentric through the motion. So next I'm going to select my uh, rod where it connects to the piston pin and make another constraint, concentric constraint between that pin and the rod. Next up, I will do the same with the piston pin and the piston itself. So I'll constrain my piston. I'll pick this surface where the pin connects. And then I'll select the pin and that surface. And those will remain concentric through the motion. So now that I have this all constrained, I'll need to constrain the piston to the cylinder on my engine. So here, let me just uh, turn everything off but the cylinder and the piston. Make it easier to see. And I'll use my constraint tool for concentric, select the piston, select that surface that rides on that cylinder wall, and I'll select the cylinder and that surface inside of the cylinder. And now I've made that concentric. You'll notice you don't see the markers because the default level is not turned on. So I'll turn on the default level and you can see my markers for the various constraints that I've just added. So now it'll be relatively easy to create an animation. In fact, all I need to do is create an actor out of my crank. I'll do that next. Let's go to the visualization tab. Use the create actor tool. I'm going to have this actor rotate about the Y axis. It's going to be the crank. I'll change its name. Select the crank and then I'll center snap to create the actor. So as far as the scripting goes, I'll script the actor, my crank, to rotate around the Y rotation axis. And I'll put 10 asterisk frame. That's 10 degrees per frame of my animation. And now you can see this motion occurring, although I don't have it set to animate in view 5. So let me close that and we'll look in view 2. And now you can see that, in fact, the little engine is moving as you would expect it to with one actor. Super simple, easy to do, move to connect, not easy in V8i. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.